Hamza, how does it feel to be back here on Fight Island, kind of where your UFC career began? <laughs> feel amazing. Drive the jet skis to be in the beach, see the people here. It's nice. How much different is your life now? I mean, the last time you came here, not many people knew who you were. Now I feel like a lot of people know who you are. How, how different is your life? Yeah, but I always stay in the gym, like close to, I live close to the gym. I go to the gym, train, I come back, uh, I sleep in the hotel, I eat in the hotel. So I always focus for the training. I don't know how it's going outside. Do you, I mean, you're famous now in a lot of ways, at least in, in MMA circles, you're famous. I mean, do you feel that at all? And does it feel weird to you that, to have that recognition? Yeah, it's feel many people know, which like uh, know me. They come to me, take pictures, and uh, speak to me. Like I, it's, I love that. It's, uh, it's good uh, energy. Very nice. What's the latest on your fight? You know, that's the question we all want to hear. Dana said he's working hard. He's gonna get you somebody. What's What's the update? What's the latest update on your fight? I don't know. I'm waiting for somebody. So yeah, we will see. Said many guys that say he's not top ten. Nobody knows him. Everybody talk about me. How they can say that nobody knows him? Like I think this this guy's scared. They talk bullshit. We hear rumors of names of people that have turned you down. I mean, do you know specific names of people that have said, "No, I don't want to fight him"? I don't know. Neil Magny said he wanna fight with me. I said, "Let's go, rock and roll." <laughs> so we'll see. Nice. Maybe he, maybe somebody else. I don't know. Is, that a fight? is Neil Magny a fight that, that interests you, that intrigues you? For me, it doesn't matter. I will fight with everybody. Nice. And you've been throwing out a date, right? December 19th. Is that is that the right date or does, does the date matter? I think so. I, they say to me, Las Vegas 19th December, I think. I don't know. If the house before that, I read. Darren Tilly said he have fight in December after that. I say, I'm in Abu Dhabi coming. We can fight here. Very nice. What's your plan when you leave here? Will you go to Sweden or will you come to Vegas and, and maybe be ready for short notice? Where, where will you go? I go after my friend's gonna fight here, Guram, good lads, he gonna fight here. So, and then we go home to Sweden, wait for somebody. Tell us about your teammate. What's, uh, what should we expect from him? He's making his debut. What, what should we expect? Yeah, he did hard work like me. We train together. He's this killer, this guy. He gonna kill this guy. Okay. He gonna show everything. Yeah. All right, so last thing for me, it looks like December 19th, hopefully, maybe Neil Magny, maybe Darren Till. What does next year look like? Are you challenging for a title next year? Are you fighting five times? What's what's the plan for next year? For me, it doesn't matter. I want to fight. I love to fight. She belt is coming. He, what are you going to do? I finished all my opponents. They have to give me this belt. Were you surprised Darren Till said he wants to fight you? No, why surprised? Is this guy's like... A nice guy, but not my level. I'm gonna take him down and smash him. Have you spoken to Darren before? Yeah, not before. After that, when I say that on in Instagram, I, yesterday, uh, two days before, I spoke to him in the Instagram. What did he say? He's a nice guy. I said to him, "Come to Abu Dhabi. I'm waiting for you." Did he say anything? He said he, he said he will fight in December. For me, tomorrow, today doesn't matter. For somebody needs months for fight. For me, right now, I'm ready. Did they actually approach you with the Damian Maya fight? I know that was uh, rumored for a long time. I want to fight with Damian Maya. Maybe I choke him out and get the back belt. We'll see. see. If you want to fight with me, I'm ready. If you had to pick which weight class would you want your next fight to be, or does it matter? Doesn't matter. Yeah, if he has somebody for me. I, they say, my manager called me, you want to fight with, what, what is his name, X, X U C champion, 84 kilos. Uh, what is his name, I forget. Magdi. Otfira Shila champion, where were they? Hey, they are X champion. Chris Weidman. Chris Weidman, yeah, he, Chris Weidman. He said also no. I was ready to fight to him also. Which of the two champions do you think the match up with? Best and doesn't matter. I do my hard work in the gym and I'm ready for everybody. That's 
да, так и есть. Что у вас с ним есть там своеобразная такая соревновательная деятельность, он много больше тренировок проведет и прочее. Расскажи, вот как это выглядит? На функциональных, когда тренируемся на функции, когда бегаем, все такое, гурам быстрее, гурам легче меня, быстрее. Там, например, на лестнице там надо 40 раз вверх-вниз побегать, он быстрее делает, я потом догоняю так. 3-4 отстаю от Курама. Когда в физическом плане я выигрываю. Вот так. Мы и так соревнуемся всегда друг другу. Помогаем друг другу. Для многих вот секрет, как, какой Курам там, в борьбе условно. Вот он с тобой, он тебе составляет конкуренцию? Конечно, он всем будет составлять конкуренцию. Гурам, как сказать, комплект файтер. Ну, все... Борьба на месте, греплинг на месте, стойка у него. Как все знаем, на кого тирует всех подряд. Он сказал, что ты ему дал совет э, размазать всех, ну такой достаточно универсальный. И я так понял, что после этих выходных у него в планах есть, ну если все пройдет легко, сделать там, то же самое, что сделал и ты. Ну, в том числе э, просим, может быть, вызов к Исламу Махачеву. Э, насколько это, ну, как думаешь, правильное решение? Это вероятно. Посмотрим после боя, как он себя будет чувствовать. Ну, он сейчас весь сгоняет, весь... Два раза без гонку. Я в прошлый раз я не так дрался, я 84, потом 77. Посмотрим, посмотрим, как он себя будет после весогонки, после боя чувствует. Если ислам захочет, почему бы нет? Гурам готов. Кузат рассказывал, что раньше вы спали в зале, жили в зале вместе с Гурамом. Насколько сейчас вот эта обстановка, которая вокруг тебя отличается, насколько приятна такая смена? Да, мы три, я три года в Гурам где-то по два с половиной года так жил на мат, мы жили на матах, кушали вместе, иногда бывало, что денег не было, то сейчас все отлично, ну радует, что есть деньги, что полегче стало, чтобы тренироваться. Ну, вот, бойцы тебя знают, наверное, как такого жалостного соперника, да, а в жизни ты достаточно позитивный человек, но сколько быстро ты переключаешься, когда ты заходишь в клетку? Клетки я воевать пришел. Мне клетки я мирный человек. Uh, I think Habib. Yeah. Seventeen, thirty. See, that Justin is hits hard. If he hits, happen can happen everything in the fight. We'll see. Have you had a chance to drink any coconuts? Yeah, I, before that, before jet skis. <laughs>